Zakaria says, is it haram to keep birds and fish as pets? Some scholars say that it is permissible, but I want to be sure because keeping a creature of Allah that was meant to fly in a cage seems sadistic to me, just like the hadith of the woman who imprisoned her cat. Is there a reward for buying birds and freeing them? Zakaria, first of all, I would like to thank you for asking. And it is good always to ask when you are in doubt. However, I'd like also to give you an advice not to put your judgment and give your verdict without basing it on the Quran and Sunnah. There was no need for saying that I feel that this is sadistic to put a, a bird in a cage and prevent it from flying. Now, this is your feeling, but is it based on Quran and Sunnah? The answer is no. So what's wrong in saying what I feel? Well, a lot of the people begin like this. And unfortunately, they are not as fortunate as you. They're not as, uh, they are not as smart as you to ask. A lot of the people make their conclusions and act upon them. And they think that it is final. They take their own whims and desires for granted. So you get people putting assumptions, speculations, and building their convictions upon them and acting upon that. You get people saying that animals have souls. We're not allowed to torture them. But plants also, according to scientific research, have souls and they get feelings. And they showed how a plant can feel. And therefore, walking on grass is not permissible. I got a question, by the way, a couple of days ago of someone saying those who play soccer or football, as we call it, on grass, are they sinful because they are running on grass and they're hurting the feelings of grass? <laughs> what is this? So people put their speculations as convictions and they act upon them. And this is totally out of the question. You did the right thing by asking, but I wish that you did not put forward your view in saying that it is, it is sadistic. No, it is not. If it were sadistic, then people, vegetarians, vegans, would come and say, slaughtering animals is sadistic. How do you feed on another creature? So I tell them, okay, you guys are feeding on vegetables and they are creatures as well how do you eat vegetables that Allah created to live and to be in the open air how do you deprive animals from their own food by eating it I mean, all of this is nonsense so coming back to the question is it sadistic the answer is no the woman you mentioned in the hadith was admitted to hell because not because she kept a kitten, a cat in her house, because she did not feed the cat and she prevented the cat from going out. She locked it in to prevent it from going out and eating from the insects and from whatever is she can find outdoors. This is why she would, was admitted to hell. Keeping a, a bird in a cage, keeping fish in a fish tank, in an aquarium. This is permissible as long as you're feeding it and taking care of it and not torturing it or allowing children to abuse it. This is totally permissible. In Sahih al-Bukhari, Anas ibn Malik, may Allah be pleased with him, had a young brother of four or five years of age. And the Prophet used to visit the house often and he nicknamed the boy as Aba Umair. And he had a small bird, Nur. 
and the bird was in a cage in Medina, and the bird died. So the boy was saddened. So the Prophet came, and he gave his condolences to the child by joking with him and nicknaming him and saying, Aba Umair, Mada Fa'ala Nughair. He's saying, Oh Abu Umair, what did the small bird do? And the child would cry and say that the bird died. And the Prophet Aisham used to console him with, with that. So this is totally permissible to have a bird in your house, to have an aquarium in your house. Look at the beautiful fish swimming, putting food for them. It's something that calls you to praise Allah Azza wa Jal. Would I be rewarded if I buy birds and set them free? I personally think that you won't. Because such birds are used to living in specific environment. And by setting them free, they'll be hunted or they'll die out of poverty, of, of hunger, because they're not used to the environment that they are set free in. So putting them in a cave and giving them food, that would be much better. And Allah Azza wa Jal knows best. And if you have extra money, you can give it always to the poor Muslims and they would benefit more than the birds.